Hey guys, this is Repugnant Man here coming at you with VGC ranked double battles number two. Uh, and today we're using uh, Kitty Sami's team. I got this team from Trainer Tower. It's the same one that Aaron Zhang is using as well. It has uh, Whimsicott, Arcanine, Dracovish, Bravery, Excadrill, <clears throat> and Grimmsnarl. So Whimsicott's got the Focus Sash. It does its basic sh shenanigans. It's got Beat Up and Tailwind. You can use Beat Up with Arcanine because it's justified. Boost its attack. It's a pretty commonly known strategy, so I don't know how, <clears throat> how often I'll get it off. I haven't seen Aaron Zhang utilize the Grim Snarl, so I kind of want to try it, especially because it's got the Prankster Thunder Wave. Um, Excadrill, it's your basic set. Um, Sandrush, 252, 252, attack and speed. Um, the only two Pokemon on this team that have Protect are Excadrill and Bravery, so I'm curious about that. Dracovish has got the, the Choice Scarf. Let's look at our opponent's team here. Looks like this is Wolf. No, no, not Wolfie Clicks team, but this is a basic team. Um, he's got a Gyarados Intimidator. Turn, turn the back. Why don't we... Maybe he'll tail Tailwind or something. I need to match his Tailwind, though. Why don't I go... Grim Snarl. I can start Thunder Waving his stuff. And then I can go. Okay, I got 36 seconds. If I go. Does the Bravery have Protect? It does. Why don't we just lead with Bravery too? <coughs> we need Excadrill in the back. Um, to deal with to deal with the Sylveon, and then I think we're also gonna take. Do we take Dracovish here? I don't think Dracovish outspeeds the Dragapult, but maybe if we Thunder Wave it, would it be our win condition? Yeah, we're gonna go with Dracovish. Oh gosh, <clears throat> I'm scared. I've never used this team. Let's see what, how it goes. Excuse me, guys. I'm kind of kind of sick. Oh, also, I'll try not to swear in this video. I swore in the last one, and uh, <clears throat> I don't know if there's any kids watching, so I'll watch my language. <clears throat> Japanese player. These guys are always top tier, so be careful for this. What the hell? This is not what I leaded. Oh, wait. It's a hell of a bad word. I leaded Grimmsnarl. I, I led Grimmsnarl, I thought. The hell? It's weird. Okay, maybe he has a thunder move. Let's see what kind of set this drag dragapult is. Whatever it is. Why don't we just What do I have in the back? If I I'm literally just gonna <clears throat> Tailwind here, and then I'm gonna. I'm literally just gonna Moonblast. I'm just gonna Moonblast the Dragapult because I don't want it to be alive. Of course, he Dynamax. <clears throat> Whatever he Dynamaxes, though. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ, guys, sorry. <clears throat> Dynamax is always oh, gonna go for Max Airstream. Is this gonna kill? He's gonna double up into Whimsicott. He does have Thunderbolt. It Okos! Let's go, guys! <clears throat> we wanted to get that out of the way. I was gonna kill my Whimsicott, which is fine. It did its job. It actually O-code that. He gets a speed increase, but we do too. <clears throat> he only gets a speed increase on himself, though. Why don't we just come in here and do a Ficious Rend? 
Um, but let me see here. <clears throat> what other Pokemon did he have? You have anything that can resist a Gyarados? A vicious friend. Well, what I could do is because I'm a choice user, <clears throat> I could Dynamax after and use a different move. So let's go ahead and just let off this vicious rend on whatever. Perfect. Now we're just going to close combat the T-Tar. I think we're faster. Let me just look at the information here. Tailwind. Okay, we got 47 seconds. I think we're faster in the bravery, so why don't we just close combat the T Tar, and then let's just let's just vicious rend here, and then I don't think we'll die to any move from bravery, hopefully. <coughs> and wait, are we vicious rending? Yeah, we're gonna finish this rend this this Giga Pokemon. If not, oh my gosh! Look at the damage on that. That's a good, that's a Dynamax Pokemon too. Oh wow! We all coast Etar, guys. This is a good first game. And this isn't even the Pokemon we chose. <coughs> okay, Dracovish hangs on. I think I'm still faster even after two speed boosts because I have the choice scarf. Hopefully his last mon is Sylveon. That, that way we have the win condition with the Excadrill. It is perfect. So we're going to Dynamax our Excadrill right now. How much turns of... Tri of uh, <clears throat> let's just... gonna brave bird the sylveon and i'm gonna fish his friend again on the bravery my first still oh it has kick quick attack forgot about that Am I alone here? <clears throat> How many turns of Dynamax does he have left? What I could do here is brings bring in this. How many turns of, of Dynamax? Is it one left? What I could do is just do a Dynamax protect. Oh no no, it's good. Yeah, I'm gonna Dynamax and then I'm and then because the sand is up. Why don't I... I'm just gonna rock slide. Oh wait, no. Okay, what's the play here? Think, Jose. So, if, you, if I don't Dynamax <clears throat> and I just rock slide, I can potentially kill both of them. <clears throat> and I have to kill... The Sylveon, can it not touch me? Does it have a coverage move? It has fire move, usually. So why don't we Dynamax? We could go for the Rock Slide here. <clears throat> why don't we Protect and see what he's doing? Let's do that. Okay, so it has Close Combat. And Mystical Fire. Why don't we <clears throat> Dynamax? And I think what we need to do here, this raises our defense stat. Ally Pokemon's defense stat. <clears throat> okay, so I'm faster than the Sylveon. I can KO it. So why don't I just... 
Max Steel Spike. The Sylveon. Kill it. And I think when I'm Dynamax, I can take a close combat from Bravery. And hopefully I'm faster than it. Hopefully I can take two Brave uh, close combats. Let's find out. <clears throat> now, let me know in the comments if this was the right play. Should I have just rock slided? I wonder if I'm faster than the Bravery after two speed boosts. Am I still under Tailwind? Oh no. I think I should have just rock slided. Yeah, rock slide was the play. I think rock slide was the play. Let's find out though. Yeah, his bravery with the max, the max air streams, and it, <clears throat> it outsped. I should have. Hmm, what could I have done better? I had to kill the bravery first. I messed up. I misplayed. Sorry, guys. It's okay though. We live and you learn. I think rock slide was definitely the play there. Oh well. Good game by my opponent. The bravery setting up the uh, max airstreams. It seems like it's a very viable strategy, this meta, to just open up with like a Corviknight or a flying type Pokemon and just start getting your speed boosts. <coughs> so I think I should have prioritized trying to kill that. Also, I forgot that um, Sylveon gets a uh, quick attack. Alright, another sand team, so I'm definitely bringing an Excadrill. They have a Dracovish as well. They're probably going to want to start with with their Corviknight. And maybe like something like a T-Tar. So, <clears throat> uh, this Arcanine. I'm going to start off with the Arcanine, just in case they start off with Corviknight. I want to get rid of it. And then... They don't have any Intimidators, so I don't know if I want to go Bravery. I think Whimsicott's pretty good here, so let's bring Whimsicott. Dracovish is still good here. And we need to bring the uh, Excadrill because... <coughs> they have sand. I think this is the play. Should we have opened Excadrill though? Probably. <coughs> Let's find out. Hopefully we could beat this kid. I don't want to have two losses on stream today, so we're gonna think everything through. <coughs> on me on stream, on recording. Mm, he's gonna set up Trick Room. That thing is very psychic. <clears throat> we could just... Dynamax. Wait, that T-Charge might do something. It might be scared of the Whimsicott though. What I could do is... No, should I Dynamax? Now, he might go for a rock move into the Arcanine. Um, would he... <clears throat> what I'm going to do is... 26 seconds. Why don't I just... F it, dude. I'm just going to... Dynamax. And get the close combat off on the... Uh, Tyranitar. I'm going to beat up my Arcanine and see what happens here. <clears throat> 
seems Dynamaxing early is pretty good. So let's hope this works. Why? I mean, Tyranitar is not really that much of a threat to me either. <coughs> In terms of like... Max Knuckle's not going to do as much damage as... Oh, with the beat up. <clears throat> Let's see if this is a good strategy here. LOL. <clears throat> old times, old time strategy used to be with uh, Terrakion. Now we didn't see a protect come out from Tyranitar, so this should just flat out KO. If he sets up a trick room, I could just start extreme speeding stuff. And I don't think I saw a ghost type on his Pokemon on his uh, team. <clears throat> oh, but you know what? I don't have extreme speed right now. Sandstorm, pain in the booty. So we can wait out the Sandstorm. <clears throat> His team had pretty fast Monzo. Does he come out with a Conkleder here? <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and take out this and then fight what do I have why don't I just moon blast this chick <clears throat> does she have recover mm, she might double up into my arcanine I should switch out mons here I just have dracovish in the back He Dynamaxes Excadrill. <clears throat> he might KO my Arcanine here with like a... Yeah, with the ground move. Yeah, I think he might. Let's see if I can survive. No, I doubt I'm surviving this. Oh, but I'm, I'm slower than he does have. Yes, plus four. Takes it out. What a wasted Dynamax turn. Now, he has a Trick Room team, but his... He still has a Sand Rush Excadrill. That's not a very good strategy. He should have had um, a different ability to be able to uh, under speed and trick room my Arcanine. So that, that's a really strange choice there. I like the idea of you know going for trick room, but he should have brought the, brought the right Mons for it. And here's the Conkleder. What I'm going to do here now is... I can bring out the Sun. I can bring out Electric Train. Or what I can do is... Yeah. I'm going to Max Knuckle again. But this time... Max Knuckle into here. And then I'm going to switch out Whimsicott. For... My Excadrill. To boost some... I think and this is what this is going to do is it's going to boost my attack <clears throat> on my Excadrill. Goes for a mock punch. Still not enough. <clears throat> How many turns of Trick Room left? This guy's done. I think he's gonna quit right now. <clears throat> Did I swear this this video? I hope I didn't. <clears throat> wow, so turn one justified. Um, and I think the extreme speed just knocks out right here. 
Yeah, turn one justified uh, Arcanine with the beat up Whimsicott. Dynamax it. It's, it's really good. So I don't think he... Yeah, I extreme speed and win. So that's it for the video, guys. Um, for this... This time's around VGC uh, Double Battles number two, uh, Road to Worlds. I am going to be competing in the first uh, VGC Regionals in 2020 in Dallas, Texas. I really do want to try and compete in World Championship of Pokemon. This is uh, the first time I'm ever competing in VGC, and, and it's one of my dreams to become the Pokemon World Championship. So I hope you guys support me. Uh, if you guys like the video, please... Uh, or, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and if you'd like to see more VGC content, stay here, because um, I'm going to be doing it. Peace. Have a nice day.